Hello and welcome to Chess News Summary. I'm Nafisa Abdul Al. The Southeast Governors Forum described the killing of a former presidential advisor, Ahmad Gulak, in Oweri Imo State as a national catastrophe. The chairman of the forum and governor of Ebony State, Dave Umahi, while condemning the attacks, demands probe of the killing with a view to bringing the killers to justice. In the meantime, minority caucus in the House of Representatives expressed shock over the gruesome murder of Ahmad Gulag in Oweri while calling for the urgent arrest and prosecution of his killers. In Zamfara State, angry youth have taken over Wusau Karanamoda Highway on Monday, protesting incessant bandit attacks in their community. Reports indicate that police personnel make frantic efforts to disperse the protesting youth to ensure the free flow of vehicular movement on the road. National Association of Resident Doctors is threatening to resume its suspended nationwide strike over unpaid salaries. The association said it is concerned particularly over the conditions of members in Abia and Imo states who are being owed salary arrears. In recent developments, 11 students who were part of scores kidnapped earlier from an Islamia school located at Tagino local government area of Niger state have been released. The information was contained in a statement released by the Chief Press Secretary to the State Governor, Ms. Noel Berge, who noted that the released children were deemed too small and couldn't walk, which prompted the kidnappers to release them. In business, foreign portfolio investment in Nigeria's equities falls by 50.7% to 20.2 billion naira from 40.6 billion naira at the end of April. Investment analysts say that foreign portfolio investment commitment in Nigeria would continue to see a downward trend given the exchange rate volatility and the uncertainty of repatriating their capital and earnings to their home countries. And that shuts it up for the summary today. Don't forget to join us for our update. I'm Nafisa Abdul Al. Thanks for watching.